We asked students 21 questions to get to know them, their program, and their experience at Salis University. Here's what they had to say. What's your name? Katie. Where are you from? I'm originally from North Carolina. What program are you in? Uh, I am a first year in the uh, traditional optometry program. Why did you want to pursue this career? I was an ophthalmic technician for four years before this, and I wanted to be more directly involved in patient care. I really like helping people. Why did you choose Salus? When I first applied, Salus I didn't think was my first choice, but then I came to interview and I just really loved the atmosphere here, especially the way that Dr. Trago um, announced the program and made us feel welcome. It was really motivating. What have you discovered about your subject area as a grad student that you wish you knew as an undergrad student? Honestly, I've been to a few different colleges trying to figure out what I wanted to do, uh, so I wish I had figured out how cool this was sooner. What do you feel is unique about your program at Salus? I would say the intense academics in a good way. Uh, it's a lot, but they get you ready so much sooner for clinic than a lot of other programs do. What clinical experience has made an impact on you thus far at Salus? Unfortunately, with the pandemic, I haven't been to clinic much, but we did have our, our first eye exam that everybody gets, and um, I really liked how welcoming and kind the staff and optometrists were. Have you had any discouraging or especially triumphant moments in the classroom or clinic? Definitely some hills, <laughs> um, some discouraging moments, just trying to figure out if I can do these things that they require, but I've also had some really encouraging moments when I've managed to do it, so uh, it's very motivating. What's been your favorite class so far? Content-wise, I gotta say, even though it's a scary class, maybe neuroanatomy, um, I just find it so interesting and I love the clinical correlates. Have you had any eureka moments in the classroom or clinic? Yes, um, there are a handful of conditions that we've learned about that I suddenly realized I saw in clinic as a technician. And I'm like, oh my gosh, now I understand exactly why they got the treatment they did. And now I can make a difference like that. Are you a part of any clubs or groups on campus? I would like to. I'm not yet because I was concerned I wouldn't have good enough time management. But as I get more comfortable with the demands of it here, I would love to join some clubs. What's your favorite study snack? It depends. It, if I want to be lazy and grab something, I love popcorn because I can eat a lot of it and not feel terrible. Uh, if I want to feel productive, I'll like saute some veggies. It makes me feel like I'm doing something good for myself. <laughs> What's your study strategy? I am big on flashcards. Uh, I'm a big flashcard maker. I usually make them while I watch the lectures and that way it's kind of a one and done and I can study the cards after that. It helps me a lot. Where's your favorite spot to study on campus? I haven't explored spots too much yet because of COVID, but I, I like the library a lot. I've been here a handful of times so far and it's a really nice atmosphere. What advice would you offer a peer who might be struggling in a specific subject or class? I would say, please do not feel embarrassed or humiliated to reach out to classmates and ask for help. We are all struggling with something and CPPD. Um, I am kind of living there right now, and it, it helps me so much. It, it really does. How have you felt supported as a student and an individual while enrolled at Salus? I get a lot of really comforting tones from the staff emails that we get, um, especially Dr. Millman, Dr. Trago, um, and the classmates. We, we kind of, you know, we immediately, even when we can't see each other much, form a bond on group chat. Uh, and then, you know, my, my partner and my family, you know, sending messages. Where's your favorite place to chill between classes, on campus, or in the community at large? I haven't really designated one yet. Um, I'm mostly glued to my apartment, but I would love to find a spot in, like, a hiking trail or a park that I could sit and study at. How has going virtual impacted your learning experience? It's been rough. Um, I'm very visual and very hands-on with learning, and so we've had, you know, almost none of that. I've had to really focus more on different ways to study, um, which made me fumble in grades at first, but I'm starting to get traction now. What's the first thing you want to do once the pandemic is over? I want to go to a concert. <laughs> I want to go to a huge concert. <laughs> Please. 
what advice would you offer an undergrad considering pursuing an advanced degree in this field? I would say shadow. Shadow somebody, it, not just to get the hours for applying, but just in general, see if you actually like it. Um, it'll, it'll help you a lot in being more sure of what you choose. To learn more about Salus University's programs, visit salus.edu slash academics.